The murders obviously hit close to home for all law enforcement, including local leaders. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga is at the Dallas Police Department with more on their reaction. Yeah. Well, Steve, we do know that Dallas's police chief sent an email to its officers saying that if those officers want to ride with a partner instead of riding alone for the time being, they can do that. Over in Tarrant County, the sheriff there is also talking about how to guard against future attacks and is also asking those who support police to speak up. I think the frustration kind of boiled over in me and I uh, probably broke from my heart, not my head so much. In the business of running a law enforcement operation. I don't know, it just seemed to, whatever I wrote seemed to strike a chord. It's a bit rare to hear the head of an agency pour his heart out, but in about 960 words, Tarrant County Sheriff D. Anderson did just that with a Facebook post that's now reached tens of thousands. I don't know the answer, and I said that in my, in my letter. I, I'm lost at this point. I don't know the answer, but I do know that violence met by violence is not the answer. Sheriff Anderson says he was in shock over Deputy Darren Goforth's murder and writes, if I sound lost and unsure, it's because I am. He encourages his deputies and officers to not be consumed by fear and ask people who support police to join in and say enough. We've heard black lives matter, all lives matter. Well, cops' lives matter too. So why don't we just drop the qualifier and just say lives matter? Saturday, the Harris County Sheriff said the murder was a result of anti-police sentiment boiling over all over the country. But in North Texas, Sheriff Anderson's reaction sounded more sad than outraged. This is a time that we've never seen before. This is uncharted water, and I don't know how we, how we get out of it, but we certainly all need to work together on a solution. Just expressing his heart, it shows that he wants to have some type of conversation and some kind of healthy dialogue where the community can come back together. Pastor Michael Bowie of St. Luke Community United Methodist Church in East Dallas says the Tarrant County Sheriff's openness marks an important step, showing there's common ground in wanting to be heard and wanting to build relationships. Earlier this month, Pastor Bowie joined other clergy to mark the anniversary of Mike Brown's death in Ferguson by inviting Dallas police officers for a game of basketball. And there are plans to get together again. This is a good time for them to say, hey, you know, uh, we're not your enemy. Uh, we're your friends. Uh, we're here to protect you, to have a safe community. So I think if there's someone from the law enforcement who would take the lead and say, hey, we want to partner, we want to talk uh, to community leaders, because I think the lot, as long as they're silent, uh, sometimes silence uh, endorses uh, some folks' perception. And I don't mind talking about it. I don't mind standing up and saying what I feel, because I think that the people need to hear what's going on and people need to think about what our issues are. And, and it certainly forced me to be, to look more at the problems and what we can do to, to help hopefully make things better. So as we continue to follow every development in the Harris County case, you can expect that officers from all over the state will be attending Deputy Goforth's funeral. In fact, Tarrant County Sheriff Anderson there, who you heard from, said he does intend to send his honor guard down there as well this week. Steve, back to you. Okay, Deanna Zoga, live tonight. Thank you.